pardon my appearance. Hi, hi! Oh my god, today's the day! Today's the day! Today's the day! I'm so excited. I'm seeing Olivia Rodrigo today. Ah! Oh my god, Ollie's like, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm just hyperventilating a bit. Today is a huge day in the life of Andrea Nastri. I am seeing Olivia Rodrigo today. <laughs> she is coming to the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. It's my, my hometown show, shows. I'm going to both nights. I wanted so bad, more than anything, to go to the Sour Tour. Sour is one of my favorite albums of all time. And unfortunately, I couldn't get tickets, but I'm redeeming myself. I'm going to both nights of the Guts Tour in Boston, Massachusetts. I'm going with my friends. Andrew's gonna be there. And tomorrow night, we're in the pit. Ah! Chapel Roan is also the opener. This is her last stop. She's an opener on the tour and I just feel so excited. I always say this about Olivia Rodrigo, but when I think of my favorite kind of music, it's Olivia Rodrigo music. It's pop heavy, there's ballads, there's songs you wanna to dance to, songs you wanna to cry to. The lyrics are just so, mwah, so perfect. That is my favorite kind of music. I just love it. I have so many reaction videos on this channel to new music of hers, I'll link them below. To see these songs performed, I've been listening to for years. I can't wait. Favorite crime, live, get him back. I'm not ready. The grudge is gonna ruin me. Right now, I have to get going because Andrew and I want to go to Crumble Cookies to try the Olivia Rodrigo cookie. So I'll include that in this video. Tonight, I'm going with my friends Patrick, Andrew's boyfriend Connor, and Andrew. So it's gonna be, it's, that's a solid crew. The four of us went to Dua Lipa and we've been going to concerts as a little group ever since. And I just love it. We we have costumes. Ah, just wait. If you're just coming across my channel, my name's Andrea. I'm a huge fangirl, period. But if you are too, subscribe to this channel, comment below. Are you seeing Olivia Rodrigo? My socials are linked. Let's be friends. Okay, let's, let's go. Give us a wave. Yes. There she is. Olivia. Oh, I was looking at the flavor last night. Wait, that one looks really good. I think that one looks interesting. I forget what it is. Six days left. Andrew, if we like it, we can come back. Okay, box of four. See you tonight, Olivia. Boop. Oh my gosh. We're going to the show tonight. Are you? Yeah. Thanks so much. So excited. Thank you. That was presented so nicely. I know. I feel like when it was originally announced, it looked like kind of weird. And I think the fruit part. I, don't I feel really like know I'm not gonna like it. I think I will. The we only got thing, the goods. The fruit thing is the only thing I'm like weirded out about. Because, yeah, but like, it doesn't look like it's all fruit. No, it looks like a regular like sandwich. Because if you peek here, it looks like they cut the star. Okay. Into, and then they put the gel. And then they like squirt whatever this jelly is into the star. Oh my. It's pretty big. Which one should I take? There's sprinkles on the inside, some stars. Pretty good. Oh my God. I don't know, it's very good. I hate crumble cookie. Oh, I love cookies. I mean, I don't know, I think it's a cool concept. So, um, it's come to my attention that the garden has a different bag policy. Here's my biggest concert hack until this moment. I went on Amazon like years ago and I bought these two bags. It's a fanny pack clear bag and like a regular bag over the shoulder moment. It was like the greatest investment I could have ever made because they were like, what? 30 bucks for two. However, the TD Garden has updated their policy that no bags over, I think it's six inches by four inches by one and a half thick. Let's do the math. That is small. It is like a literal like clutch. So I'm trying to like find something that would hold literally anything. My clear bags were never supposed to let me down. Let's get measuring. Too big. Would have been perfect. This color, too big. Y'all, these are like so small. Even my fanny pack, like, like the front pocket's six inches. Ah! Too big. It's literally like six and a half. This sucks so much. I get it's a safety thing and they gotta do what they gotta do. 
but this like blows big time. I might put like my cards and cash in this little thing and I'll have to give it to like Andrew to put in his pocket. I guess I could keep my cards in the back of my phone too. It's okay, it's for safety, I understand. It's just not, not ideal for the girly pops who need a phone, chapstick, and my vlog camera. The last thing I want to accomplish is I want to make a couple bracelets. This is my this is my bracelet box. <laughs> when you're a hardcore Swifty and DIYer like me, this is what times have come to. Just a couple for my friends. At three o'clock, I'm gonna shower, I'm gonna get ready, and we're gonna go to Olivia Rodrigo. I have to get in the shower, but I wanted to show you some things I made. I have a craft Instagram, I'm a very DIY gal. There's four of us tonight, and I made us all sashes. So, this is what they are. You'll have to keep watching to see who's is who's. But I think they came out good, I made them with my Cricut. And I think they're so cute. As for the bracelets I was working on, I made this one for myself. It says driving home to you, which I was just watching. I made these two for Andrew, Blood Sucker. He loves the song Vampire. And Deja Vu because his sash comes from Deja Vu. I made these for Connor. Good for you. Rumor has it that's one of his favorite Olivia songs. And I made him this one that says like, ah, which I kind of want to keep for myself, but I'll give it to him. And then I made these for Pat. This one says, just a stranger, cause stranger's one of his favorite songs at the moment. Love that. And happier because I don't know. I just hope Pat's always happy. I also have a few other ones that I've made for like other occasions that I'm gonna wear for myself. But yeah, it's time to get in the shower and um, look like a person. Just showered. I'm filming a get ready with me on TikTok. Check it out there. But we made it. I did forget the sashes at home and we had to turn around. That was really annoying. Um, But we're in Boston. We're about to meet up with Pat and it's a little colder I here. Anyone, I'm what does yours say, Connor? This needs therapy. Oh, my Andrew says, would tell you what his says if he had it on. But my makeup came out really good. I'm proud of it. This line is no joke, but we found Pat. He looks so handsome. 25 years of living. I have never waited into the line around the corner at TD at, uh, Garden. I was wild. Like, around the corner. For reference, we're like a block from the garden. We made it to the gut store! Okay. We are in club seating. I would have vlogged it, but you didn't want to see that. Um. <laughs> I have never been this stressed at TD Garden in my life. It was awful. The merch lines are out of control. It was almost as bad as opening weekend of the Eras Tour. Well, to be fair, we started around the block. Yeah, so get here early is the best advice. But we're seated and we're ready to see Chapel Road. Ah! I'm so excited. There she is, there she is. She's coming up the stairs. Olivia for having me. My name is Chapel Round. She graciously. This is my last city I will be opening for her. Yeah.
Percy Jackson series season one episode one I of Disney Plus. So comfy. They hurt. Oh my god. I bought the souvenir drink at the garden. What drink was it? Was it? <laughs> it was the Celtics cup. And then I went to refill it and they were closed. Oh no. But I had this whole bit with the employees that I was gonna come back and refill it and I might bring it tomorrow and refill it and break the rules and they weren't very happy about that. What? I, <laughs> yes, I had this whole bit breaking the rules. <laughs> During the Hunger Games song, I went to refill it and then they were closed and I like <laughs> dramatically was walking back to my seat and I threw the Celtics cup in the trash. Because no, <laughs> it was one more thing I had to carry. This whole no bag thing has been awful. All my shit, everyone's holding all my stuff. It's everywhere. I couldn't carry a cup. I could, so I, to I tossed it. $11 for some soda and ice. But that w that included the soda, right? Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. not that bad. I have some notes about the concert. Tell us, Connor. I was really concerned because the first two songs, Olivia's only move was this. I don't know what the <laughs> Was the choreography of Love and Embarrassing supposed to be embarrassing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, embarrassing? yeah, I think it is. It is. Tell me the background dancers weren't giving Matilda. <gasps> Doing. Here's my hot take from the night. Chapel Roan has way better stage presence than Olivia Rodrigo. We don't think this is a good stage presence every five minutes. <laughs> every five seconds. Chapel Roan, future of pop music. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, she is. She's the next Lady Gaga. Chapel Roan will be on Drag Race next season. Oh, thank God. I'm calling it now. I am a Chapel Nader. A Roaner, one might say. <laughs> He's new here. He, was, he, he had the lyrics up on his phone. <laughs> hey, you know what song I didn't need the lyrics for? Pink Pony Club. He's a pink pony girl. Andrew, you've been kind of quiet over there. What? What are your thoughts on tonight's show? The band was impeccable, first of all. You know what you kept saying? What? Oh, this is a song. It, it was. <laughs> I love the whole opening, like stretch, you, you where guys it's almost just it. her. She's playing some slow songs. We get Vampire, okay. we get Traitor, we get Driver's Andrew, License. Andrew, you were so happy it's during Vampire. That part is very strong and I also and think I it helps you heard that pace and like the whole out. show very well. The last thought I had was I have worked years, years of my life on breath support, singing along to those songs. I know when to breathe. She does not. We'll see you tomorrow. Breathing and breathing and breathing. All right, all right, all right. We got night two. Last night was such a vibe. We had so much fun. The show was great. Really, our only complaint was getting in there. It was... Terrible. We didn't really elaborate on it much in the vlog, but doors only opened an hour before chapel went on and like the whole flow of like traffic we found to be really difficult. Um, something I was struggling with was the bag policy. Again, I know I've already said it in this vlog. I know it's for safety purposes, but it was really inconvenient for me I i'm not even someone who like needs a lot of things but like i had no pockets um which maybe is on me but 
I, I don't know. I, it was it was tough. The no bag and getting in there was tough. But today is April 2nd and we're here for night two of Olivia Rodrigo. This is Chapel Roan's last night on tour, so I'm sitting in my car. I literally just got ready at work, which was kind of chaotic of me, but here I am. I'm just gonna sit in the car for a little bit and let my phone charge and then walk over to the venue and meet Andrew and his dad and his sister. We're gonna get our tickets and head on in. We kind of like all got our merch we wanted today, so like that's one less thing to worry about right now. I feel like I need like some food. I got a pretzel last night and it was literally the most amazing pretzel I've ever ate ever. So I really wanna get another pretzel. I kind of have a plan for the pit. It. We want to be like center during chapel and from last night when chapel went on like that was totally possible Not like at the barricade but like a couple people back which is ideal for me And then we kind of want to float left and right um, like stand in the back of the pit. Let's go night two with Olivia This man is So loud so loud Wait, we can't wait I don't know why it wasn't painted. All right we're in the VIP line. We got our, our little badges. We got to pee. Do you think I should see before I think about it further if they even have the correct size? Like, well, is there a short line for merch right now? There's no line. It's that line. Oh. That's the line. No shirt. Oh my god. What about my hat? Oh my god! We're entering the venue and look what Andrew got me! <laughs> I was like, just see if they have it. Next thing you know, it was in his hand. What were we to do? And he got his shirt. It wasn't even the size I wanted. <laughs> Anyways, we're entering the venue. Okay, girl with the megaphone. Look at her go. Please walk at all times, Indiana. I'm walking. Okay, girl with the megaphone.
like she's fucking nothing. <laughs> so this song is very special to me. And, uh, sing with me, it's called Happy. <laughs> Being a fangirl has come to. Uh, get up off the ground. Chris, what's your view of the Guts tour? Oh my god, she's amazing. You she's think? Very, very good, very good. I, go, I might go see her this weekend at Madison Square Garden. Can I come? No, there's no tickets for Saturday or, or for uh, uh, Sunday. Bella, what'd you think? Wow. <laughs> wow, Bella cried half the show. Yeah, I, I'm like this right now. Yeah, is that what? Is that the picture you sent out? Yeah. Insert it here. <laughs> so bad. I was so close to touching her. My heart was shaking. I thought I was gonna throw up. I, I did feel kind of starstruck. I know. I was so like, wow. Oh wow. H O T T O G. Yeah. What would you think of Chapel? Oh, I didn't know any songs. Well, you gotta get with the crest. <laughs> I said Bella Grey Adam. She was good. Now where's she from? Um, the Midwest. Do you like my hat? I do like the hat. <laughs> I thought I could find you in the crowd. You like Chapel? I did really like her. Bella's stamp of approval. Yes, I'm gonna start to get into her now. You should. I we saw you jumping. Yeah, you We <laughs> saw you jumping, girl. I didn't say at all. Oh, during no. no. I love our Andrea and Andrew debriefs after concerts. Let's break the news to the viewers first. What? I was attacked. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, there's a video of me going, I was pushed, I was pushed. <laughs> At the barricade, there's this group of young girls. How old? Teens. Like, like 16 maybe? Maybe, yeah. Maybe even younger. We know Olivia's coming to the barricade at this point. So we were like trying to work our way up, but not like, I feel like we were under the impression, like, if we didn't get close, whatever, you know? Whatever. Yeah. Mind you, no one was standing in this area. No. We were bouncing around the pit the whole time, moving, basically, wherever Liv was moving. Mm -hmm. We knew we wanted to see her at the very end in this one spot, so we went to an empty area, and we were going to attempt to get barricade before the show ended. And we had an amazing time in the pit. Like, probably the best pit experience. Like, we danced in the back. Yeah. Like There was so much room. Not just... 
room around you, but room to move from side to side. Yeah, the literally only complaint is this one girl. So this girl and her friends, they, I don't know where they went. They weren't even there. We had no idea they existed. We, so we moved up, as you do, in a pit. There's a little step on to like get to the barricade. And I kind of tripped over it. Not like fell to the ground, but like caught myself. And as I was catching my footing, this girl comes in and knocks me. Like literally with force pushes me and i couldn't yeah. like stand up in time to like catch my footing to like move out of her way because like i would have moved yeah but like i thought she was maybe just running too fast and like knocked into us because she bolted in and yeah. like shoved and then i tried to like stand up and <laughs> she was in my face like this like this is my effing spot like <laughs> Get out of here. What else did she say? She was, I like, thought I was gonna be punched in the face. Mind you, she had a whole friend group behind her. <laughs> and I would have understood if the friend group was reserving spots and we yeah. took those spots, but the whole friend group suddenly <laughs> appeared behind her. But security, Posse. security snatched in. the Swoop girl. And I like, said, bye. I said, take her away, please. Security? was amazing Literally like everyone was like she needs to go because they must have seen her book it in mm -hmm. and i think she was causing problems with other people i'm sure she was i just want to say i was so impressed by the tv garden security like this girl is screaming in my face and two multiple security guards appeared like within immediately seconds snatched so her. fast unfortunately they let her stay i thought she was leaving yeah, i thought they were escorting but her out. it was only like a song and a half left, so. So. Whatever. We did end up making it to the barricade. We made it to the barricade. Liv touched your hand. Yep. Liv touched my hand, we said. Yep. Illy. I think I was screaming. I'll have to watch the video back, but I was like, thank you for your music. You did. You thank just you said something. <laughs> Cause it means a lot to me. I was kind of starstruck by Olivia in the pit. Yeah. Like I was like, wow, I've watched Driving Home to You so <laughs> many times and that's her. Well, I was thinking it last night and like obviously even more tonight being closer. I think she's incredible at crowd interaction and audience interaction. Yeah. Like not she, just point. giving speeches, but, but she's also like, Your shirt's actively so cute. interacting with the crowd and coming so close. Even the fact that she even comes so close to the crowd yeah. is not something a lot of modern artists are doing. Yeah. Especially someone like who's at her fame level. She took the Miss So American Sash from yes, there was the guy this, next to this us I and wore icon it. icon in the back of the pit with us and mm -hmm. he made a sash and she yeah. wore it. She put cowboy hats on. Yep. So last night I was like, I don't really know how her stage presence is. Like I think she could like learn a bit and like do a little better tonight i was like no she's amazing oh i agree i thought last night was amazing but i thought tonight was even better i did really not have the complaints i thought she really commanded the stage specifically last night you could kind of see above and i was genuinely very impressed by how much of the show she's just like alone really just s singing or speaking to the audience and how much she commanded that place the crowd especially in like the first half mm -hmm. singing so loud so this loud. is like one of the i think the only louder crowd i've heard was taylor swift's errors tour opening night yeah but i will say the sound design and lighting teams lighting are amazing specifically for Liv. you could hear her so crystal clear over the extremely loud crowd she was always lit Perfectly, especially perfectly. especially with sparkly outfits. That's hard to do. Um, and makeup. Her yeah. makeup sparkly too. Chapel sound iffy. The band kind of overpowered her a lot. Like it, we were also closer to Chapel, so I feel like the sound was kind of going over yeah. us. Yeah. And my only real critique of her tonight was she doesn't stop moving. I know. It's hard to get a picture of her. They didn't have the bus last night. They only had it today, and I ended up going. But even that, I felt like I was rushing again because it ran from one to seven they didn't end up letting people in until maybe like two ish but we got in line at 2 30 and i don't think i got out of it until like 4 45 to the venue long time yeah, Andrew. straight to the venue Run which around was at there. what 20 or so minutes away got you there got there at 509 yeah and then immediately went into the line for ga i was on the earlier side of that one to seven going into the bus and line at 2 30 thinking i would have plenty of time to then get to the show if i went at like three or four thinking i would have time before yeah. 
the show. Very rushed. I would say unless you specifically want something at the merch stand that is not offered online, do not even bother. Don't once, even bother. Once you enter, you are not going to have time. A lot of people have been asking me, Andrea, how did you get pit tickets? We bought them on Ticketmaster. I think also through the American Express pre-sale. Is that what the pit tickets were through? Yeah. Um, Let's do a haul. This is the fanny pack. Mm. It has like little stars on it. It's a pretty good size. It feels like yeah. pretty good quality too. I love this. Just what I need. <laughs> Another hat. It says gutsy. And then mm -hmm. the world tour. And it came in this bag. Cute, cute, cute. Like so, Duncan gift cards. But that was yeah, Duncan bag. was giving out $5 gift cards, sparkles, and temporary tattoos. Such a great activation, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Yeah, and we both touched Olivia. Oh my god, yeah. I can't believe it. And I really do. Oh, the bass player. We haven't talked about the bass player. Oh, yeah. I think the best advice I can give to someone attending the Guts tours to get there early. Andrew, it was a delight to attend with you. Subscribe down below. Our socials are also linked. I've made some TikToks about this, so go check that out. Olivia, we love you. Your music, we just adore. I think the tour is amazing. Amazing. That's it. Bye!